Hello, and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to cover a basic, typical installation of Windows Server 2022. For an advanced installation demonstration, see Windows Server 2022 Advanced Installation. Here, we're going to do a straightforward install followed by required and recommended configuration steps. We will cover installation, initial required configuration, driver and Windows updates, recommended configurations, and firewall modifications to allow ping responses. The steps in this demonstration are platform agnostic and only cover the installation of the operating system after booting with install media. Steps for configuring a physical server or an underlying host hypervisor are not covered and are outside the scope of this video. Let's get started. At the first server setup screen, select your regional settings and desired language. Click Next, followed by Install Now. Here, we are presented with two SKUs, each with two options. The options that read Windows Server 2022 Standard or Data Center installs the minimalist server core version that has no familiar GUI. The options that read Desktop Experience provide the well known Windows Explorer desktop that everyone is familiar with. Here, we're going to select Windows Server 2022 Standard Desktop Experience. In a later video, we will cover the installation of Server Core. Click Next. You read through and accepted the license terms, right? Of course you did. Check the checkbox and click Next. Since this is a clean installation on physical hardware or on a local or cloud-hosted virtual machine, click Custom. We'll cover an upgrade installation in a future video. If no drive is listed, please see Windows Server 2022 Advanced Installation. With a blank drive on a clean system with no previous operating system, click Next. Following the installation and reboot, enter a strong password for the local administrator account. Log in. By default, Server Manager will automatically load. Close the Windows Admin Center dialog box. We'll cover Windows Admin Center usage in a later video. Under Roles and Server Groups, disregard the boxes in red for now. Click Local Server. We are going to assign a static IP address. Click the link next to Ethernet. Right-click Network Adapter and select Properties. Select IPv4, click Properties. Enter network settings that are appropriate for your environment and click OK, followed by Close. Close the Network Connections window. Change the time zone to match your location. Click Computer Name. At the Systems Property dialog, click the Change button. In the Computer Name field, enter the new computer name. It is important to note that this name is called the NetBIOS name and it should not exceed 15 characters. In the Member Of area, leave the Workgroup Radio button selected. Click OK, followed by OK, close System Properties, and restart the computer. Log in. Prior to proceeding with any other configurations or tasks, we have to ensure all hardware drivers are installed and that the operating system is fully updated and patched. For installations on physical hardware, right-click the Start flag and select Device Manager. Install the latest manufacturer or Microsoft-provided driver version 
any devices that are unidentified, labeled as unknown device, or exhibit a yellow cautionary symbol. When complete, close Device Manager. For virtualized installations, install the latest agent or tools package required by a hypervisor platform. As Server Manager, Local Server, click on Windows Update. Click Advanced Options and turn on Receive Updates for Other Microsoft Products. Click the back arrow and click Check for Updates. The update process can take some time so please be patient and restart when prompted. Log in. Open Windows Settings and click Update and Security. It should say you're up to date. Close Settings. In the Windows search bar, type WinVer to see the Windows Server version and build number. See the Microsoft Windows Server 2022 Update History page to verify the latest version and build numbers. Close the About Windows dialog. Since Microsoft Edge is now included with Windows Server 2022, we want to make sure it too is fully updated. Open Edge and acknowledge the welcome screens. Click the ellipsis in the upper right corner, select Help and Feedback, and click About Microsoft Edge. The initial version of Microsoft Edge shipped with Windows Server 2022 is 86.0.622.38. Edge will automatically check for updates while on the About screen. Restart Edge to complete the update. Notice the Edge version is now updated to the latest version. Close Edge. Now that we have the initial mandatory configurations out of the way, it is time to complete some additional recommended configuration steps. In the taskbar search bar, type Power. Select Power and Sleep Settings. Click Additional Power Settings. Select the desired plan and click the Change Plan Settings link. Adjust the screen timeout if desired. Here, I'm going to select Never. Save Changes. Close Control Panel Power Options and the Settings screen. As in Linux, where it is not advisable to log in as the root user, in Windows, it is not good practice to log in with the actual local administrator account. Therefore, we're going to create a new local account that has administrative rights to the server. Open Computer Management. Under System Tools, expand Local Users and Groups. Click Users. Right-click in a user area and select New User. Enter the user's username. This is mandatory. The full name and description fields are optional. Use a good, strong password and select the desired options. Click Create, followed by Close. Double click the newly created user and select the Member of tab. Click Add and type Administrators. Click Check Names. The Administrators group will now be underlined. Click OK. Select the Users group and click Remove. This makes the newly created account more in line with how the default local administrator account is configured. Close the Users Properties dialog by clicking OK. Close all open windows, remaining dialog boxes, and Server Manager. Sign out and log in with the new account. In some environments, it is suggested to disable and rename the local administrator account for security reasons. These steps are optional. Open Computer Management, expand Local Users and Computers, and click Users. Double-click Administrator and select Account is Disabled and click OK. 
right click Administrator and select Set Password. Acknowledge the warning dialog box by clicking Proceed. Provide a strong, long, randomly generated password. Click OK, followed by OK. Right click Administrator and select Rename to rename the account. Close Computer Management. Open Server Manager, Local Server, and select Remote Desktop. Under Remote Desktop section, click the Allow Remote Connections to this Computer radio button and click OK at the Firewall Exception dialog box. Ensure the Network Level Authentication checkbox is checked. Click Select Users and verify your new administrative account has access. Click Cancel, followed by OK. Refresh Server Manager to see the changes. Log off. The local administrator account should not appear. By default, with a clean Windows Server installation configured as a standalone server, Windows Server does not respond to ping requests. You have to enable the capability manually. From another computer that's on the same network subnet, try to ping the server's IP address. You will see that the ping requests time out. With Server Manager open, click Tools and select Windows Defender Firewall with Advanced Security. Click Inbound Rules, scroll down to Core Networking Diagnostics, ICMP, Echo Request, ICMP v4-n on the private public profile and double click to open. Under General, click the Enable checkbox and click OK. Likewise, setting File and Printer Sharing, Echo Request, ICMP v4-n to Enable will accomplish the same thing for Windows Server 2019 and earlier. From the same other computer on the same subnet, you will notice the server now responds to ping requests. Back at the server, close Windows Defender Firewall with Advanced Security. If the target drive has been used by Windows, for another operating system, you may want to clean the drive to ensure a pristine state. At the Where do you want to install the operating system? Hit Shift plus F10 to bring up a system level command prompt. Type disk part. Type list disk to see the disk information. In this example, the disk is disk zero. Type select disk zero to select the disk. Type clean. Type list disk to see the changes. Type exit twice to leave a disk part and close the command prompt. Click refresh to see the clean drive shown as unallocated space. At the date and time dialog box, if desired, click the additional clocks tab and select up to two other time zones. If you need to synchronize with a different time server, click the Internet Time tab, click Change Settings. The two default entries in the dropdown are time.windows.com and time.nist.gov. You can also manually enter a time server. In the computer name slash domain changes dialog box, click More. Enter the primary DNS suffix of the computer if desired or necessary. In some environments where the server will not be a member of a domain, this setting may be necessary where some DNS servers cannot resolve short names. Otherwise, leave the field blank and leave the Change Primary DNS Suffix checkbox checked. Virtualization, Agents, and Tools.
I hope you enjoyed this video, learned something new, and found it useful. If you have any feedback, corrections, or suggestions, please let me know in the comments below. Please like, subscribe, and pass it on to others. And I thank you for watching. Oh, 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 oh,